Homo Squad, it's your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we got Stupendium with the Ribbon Alan Wake 2 song. <laughs> Sorry, scratchy voice featuring Cami Cat. Now, been a little minute since we reacted to the Stupend, since we reacted to Stupendium. It's kind of weird to say reacted to the Stupend. No, it's not weird, like the sense of that but weird in like english way but regardless been a little minute since we came back to stupendium because they rarely ever drop and when they do it's normally for like a freaking ad and i guarantee you because let's face it we've seen how he sorry not he they we've seen how they've done with well be it like this the longest that stupendium has ever done a video for a song or so was 11 minutes <laughs> 11 or 12 either way and that was like the the what was it the nef that shit was long as hell pause but this one is more 8 minutes 39 seconds so you can say it's like a second Se the second longest one he's they's ever they have ever done sorry but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video <laughs> the viewer enraptured by the video before them subscribe to the stupendium the video in question was sponsored by remedy and epic games so what i told you so first it was the normally it's to be honest with me normally it'd be dizzy eight doing the ones with the freaking sponsors ones but then again let me let's be honest the last time last the recent reactions of Stupendium I've done, they have mostly done sponsored songs. So, which hence my saying about how they mostly do the most longest one they've done for are sponsored was freaking 11 minutes. So, kind of backs up, kind of in a way, backs up my theory, but not really. Well, point is, God damn it. <laughs> I don't want when I'm coming to a song, it's saying about it's featured and such. But let's face it, most sponsored songs are way more fire than most mainstream songs, so it is what it is. So I can't hate on it. Of understanding the border of the known, the breaking point of reason, where logic is dethroned, where sense is defenseless and festers on the bone, one writer fights a cycle trying to write a way back home. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Rhythm. <laughs> what you guys just doing? Protagonist, brash, pragmatic, fantasist, trapped within a cabin, frantic, grappling with a manuscript, passionately grasping for a catalyst, but the syntax isn't landing. Not expecting this type of beat. I am not gonna lie to y'all. Hold on. Who produced this beat? Who produced? Let's see. Video by Stupendium, of course, and Lizzie CG. Shout out to, shout out to her. her? Probably a her. But production coordination. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the cast. But I'm looking for the track produced by Oxygen. Oxygen beat always be producing Stupendium songs, and they be fire. Tonight's episode, The Rhythm. We open our protagonist, brash, pragmatic fantasist, 
Trapped within a cabin, frantic, grappling with a manuscript Passionately grasping for a catalyst, but the syntax isn't landing Grab the draft out from the carriage and abandons it He doesn't really know quite what he's writing, but he has to Sits enraptured in the flow of what he's typing Crabbing grits his hands and fits the hammer, slam the characters They writhe and dance and twist, but never seem to parse more than surviving as the grapple shifts A bulb it flickers for a moment, darkness falls for just a second But it lingers, forms unspoken, hark the call, the shadows beckon Swallow dawn, still all consume, every corner lurking, looming you I've said it before, the likes of Dan, Dan Ball and Stupendium, their type of writing and such are like the most complex ass writing ever. Because not only they do the inner rhyming, but like, shit. <laughs> For a moment, darkness falls for just a second, but it lingers, forms unspoken, hark the call, the shadows beckon, swallow dawn, still all consume, every corner lurking, looming, hear the icker hymn, so soothing as the screaming silence deafens. Another page, a hurried scrawl, a knife replays, a dozen more, another failed and crumpled ball of almost maybe on the floor. Framed within the maze within the print, his escape from all this hinges on which page becomes the door. Let's give me cat. It's so crazy that it's mostly like narrated vibe and such but the way how the words are going is so like it's so more like you can say in a word like hip-hop but it's like narrative based because with the effect that they have on their voice pretty sure that's stupendium doing the effect that has the effect on their voice somebody else let me see the one narrating. Well, just just say like the vocals and such. So it is. A, so it probably does. It is. Stupid. But be careful what mark such an obsession might leave on you. Another chapter opens, but our hero isn't sure if the pattern is unbroken. Has he penned this page before? Is he writing what he's lived or now reliving what he's written? Every end with felt beginnings cast adrift within the lore. On a lake that turned to ocean, drowning under weight of legacy. When any sentence could be sentenced as the last they ever see. Our pages pass relentless count or not, there is no remedy. And so he sits again, attempts to pen preemptive threnody. Amorphous in memoriam, in effigy uncertain. Unsure if all this really is himself, at least aversion. But these whispers grip the narrative, treat sense with bleak aversion. Tendrils bend and break immersion, twisting cursive through percussion. His words branch out in path too dark to follow through trees. With pages piled so high, he's lost the forest for leaves. Mm. No saying what's to believe, he doesn't want him to leave. And so these pages end up bound to make the story repeat. Wake up these times, the night falls. See what that body you might call. You can fight what you write, and you write with life and the light. You see it, the bright fall. You need the proper tool to get a proper service. You won't believe the things that fight right through. Hopelessly floating through tomes of no way of knowing If you were composing or you're just quoting The approach you're sewing I go up That little part right there, he sounds a little bit more I've told, alright look Let me just say this off the record, right? Before anybody, cause Every single time when I do react to Stupendium, I know there's about to be A whole bunch of comments about how It's, it's very Disrespectful, look I'm At this point, most of the time, it's not about me trying to tolerate certain people, but it's like this. It will be the same people who would want you as a person who doesn't understand it. Like me, for example, if I don't understand it as much, right? You, you would want me, not like trying to... I'm not saying all of y'all, I'm not saying the likes of Stupendium or anybody else out there would want to force me and such, right? Shut up, phone. <laughs> Sorry, that was my phone. But the thing is, th this is just my main point. Nothing more, nothing less, and we'll get back into this. 
it's one thing that you want me to respect what your pronouns or whatever and such is, right? It was one thing to want to respect it. But then when you force me, and not even just me, just anybody in general, want me to forcing somebody to want to respect your things, respect what your pronouns or whatever is, it's not about if I'm being disrespectful. It's nothing like that. It's the point is, you can't expect everybody in the world to respect what your pronouns is and such. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Phone's ringing. And we back. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was a long ass pause and such. But we back. So let's continue this. Back a little. Hold up. I want to read a, just a little bit of this information about what this is. So let me see. I'm going to read it just a little bit. I ain't trying to read the whole entire thing. I'm just going to skim through a little thing so I can get the gist of it. So in the long awakening, in the long awaited Alan Wake 2, Remedy takes us back to the world of Bright Falls, Aldrin Lake, a dark place that lies deep within it. Since the events of the first game, Alan, a renowned writer, so I guess that's why Stupendium was writing, has been lost for 13 years, trapped by the dark presence in the twisted world, built from his own words, deep, deep cauldron lake. Stuck in an endless, undying loop, he must find a way to write an ending and and end it, and his escape from what that feeds him and turn, turn, turns it against him. Meanwhile, on the surface, a new character, Saga Anderson, to the series, Saga Anderson has been assigned to solve a string of terrible ritualistic murders in the town of Right, Paul, and soon discovers that there may be a connection to a famous writer vanished from the town of 13. So, okay, so I'm guessing this is who Saga is. One, can, one thing I can say that when it comes to certain video games or games in general, you would think it's just a random. Just in just a little eh, game, but nah, they be going into very detail. Gotta give it respect. Back it up. Establishing shots in the dark, a plot with an arc beyond all comprehension. I'll be the first person to admit the present is tense. Not sure if I'll get these words to fit the present's 
But she's probably dead now. It's so crazy that this is like it's supposed to be like on the levels of the like they call in theatrical but it gives it such like a pop vibe so you can call it theatrical pop in a way and such I don't know because this like it like I'm sorry if I'm not doing much commentary I should I should be but when something like this is intriguing, what else do you want me to like comment on? The fact that nigga, we watching that is like we watching a we we're literally watching a movie. So sorry. Once again, attempts to find the words he lacks and peers between the lines to see the lines observing back. A scratch all too familiar. And oh, the surface cracks. Okay. What's the matter, Alan? We can't both be worthless acts. Now I mm. know what you think. This is crazy. Oh, he can't exist. You could have made a killing. Just embraced a little masochist. Did mm. you try to find to earn a living from a manuscript? But have you tried for just one second living as the manuscript? I'm the part you were ashamed. Mm. I'm the part you tried to. And the freaking rap. Even like the manuscript. The manuscript that was another it was another bar like that somebody said i remember reacting to a song that had a particular manuscript bar like you like that and such that Upanium just did who was it i think it was delta d's who said a certain bar like that could be wrong pretty sure he said a certain bar like that but flipped it a different way hmm. i gotta say either way Still a hard bar, nonetheless. Hold on. Made a killing, just embraced a little masochist. Just did you try to try to earn a living from a manuscript? <laughs> but have you tried for just one second living as the manuscript? manuscript. The part you were ashamed of. I'm the part you tried to fight. Mm. I'm the part you told yourself didn't keep you awake at night. I'm mm. the part of you that's better. You just can't concede them right. Mm. So you poured me into pages, and I guess I'm just your type. Mm. You poured me into pages, I'm guessing that's your type. And was the journey through hell worth how short you fell on the bell curve? And one day they'll forget you. Ooh, but I have stories to tell first, because I'm the face that you gave them to be you, and maybe I'm well first. What am mm. I when you're already a shadow of yourself? Tell mm. me who would look at this and then take that down off the shelf. You had it, buddy, all of it the fame, the glam, the wealth. But what's it worth if you won't play the hand around us, Kelt? Nightmares mm. don't use logic. Yeah, we know that you can read. Sat there hoping for the credits, but it's me who's supposed to lead. All that mm. hope can Bleeding be your credits. Head, but where's the quote to make you see that perhaps you're antithetical to the poetry of me? We write to riddles and chapters that can't be defined. Pigments of black and the parchment of white. The figments they track through the dark to hey. the light. The hammers and keys. No matter what you think about his, sorry, their pronouns or whatnot and such. And look, like I say, I have my opinions. You already heard it. Look, do not take it as a disrespectful way of how I said it earlier on in the video. Cause, come on now. Was that, am I saying anything hateful? No. Am I saying anything ignorant? No. I'm just speaking what my opinion is on it. But I'm mostly listening to the music. Whatever you got your opinions on how stupendiums, pronouns, or whatnot is, you can't deny it. Stupendium is a great rapper and a great writer too. I gonna play. Oh, right. I don't know why this always happens. 
Es un psycho. Another chapter ended, but not an arc of journey. A narrative repeating for a plot he can't discern. He's writing a departure, but he's still yet to learn. Mm. But every line he starts must always end with a return. And there you have it. A vicious cycle scored by the hammer of keys and the ring of the typewriter. A writer cursed to relive his own words, trapped in a world of his own making. A novel concept. Everyone likes to get lost in a good book. True. Be careful what you read. In Night Springs. Hmm. Hey, was it wrong? Every people, every person loves to get trapped in a book once in a night. The long-awaited sequel was not just a video game. I was right on. Dark, labyrinthian mystery, a gripping thriller, a mind-bending horror experience. The stupendium, a content creator and only half-decent impressionist, had been hired by the game developers to promote it in the guise of the game protagonist. With a flicker, the ad read gave way to gameplay footage. Alan, a writer trapped in a world of his own creation. And Saga, a federal agent tasked with yeah, solving a string of grisly murders, was seen exploring beautifully rendered environments, fighting nightmarish creatures. The intriguing hook of their unlikely and entwined circumstances, combined with the stupendium of musical interpretation, hopefully enticing the viewer to learn more. The game was available on PlayStation, Xbox, <laughs> and PC via the Epic Store. And the stupendium was incredibly grateful to Remedy and to Epic for their sponsorship. The dialogue continued as the ad read gave way to the end slate. Options appeared from the darkness, a playlist of more songs, information about streaming platforms, a subscribe button. The viewer, elated by the quality of the content they had just seen, could not help but like, comment, and subscribe. I'm already subscribed. An unfathomable compulsion made sure they rang the bell for updates on new content. As always, the stupendium would attempt to end with a joke, a humorous quip to close out the video. But this time, the punchline was a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. You always get freaking. I'm not. I'm not even going to entertain the damn. I ain't even going to entertain that goddamn narrative shit. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But nah, with Stupendium, they always know how to freaking. Like I've always said before. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When it comes to like the performance of how nerdcore is, you always see in the credits where it says written and performed by. A certain artist, ah, Stupendium really takes it up to a whole nother level when it comes to performing. But hey, either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And hey, if you want to play the game, go on Stupendium's channel. There's probably a link in that bio so you can go play it yourself. I don't know about me, but certain games like that is going to be too confusing for me. But if you serve, but you yourself, if you want to go to your original link for this, which will be in my description below, and then go click on that. And basically go get the game from his, from Stupendium's channel. But either way, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Check out my other reaction right up here and such. Follow me on all my socials up there. And hey, we trying to hit that 2K mark. So make sure you really, like all they say. Hit that subscribe button for stupendium hit that for me too and stay positive and keep the vibes up there you go